Hello, hi, how are you today? So I want to let you know we're at a turning point. It's not really crossroads. It's like we've, it's like those hairpin turns on a mountain where you're going up again and we're at this turning point here. Just like a lot of those kind of turns, you might have been accelerating and then you're going to like slow so you can make the curve and move along. In today's video, I want to talk to you about soulmate or twin flame a lot of people want to know is it a soulmate is it a twin flame are we categorizing the soulmates i want to tell you please focus 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 and simplify and just tell yourself love has found you now i'm always in favor of telling people to expect and meet their twin flame. But a lot of people abandon ship when they're like, well, is it just a soulmate? Well, then I'm out. Well, I'd rather have a soulmate. And so I wanna to talk to you a little bit about this process. If you're new here, I'm Patricia, and I help people with their twin flame awakening, their activation, their symptoms, healing, and relationships, and so much more. Welcome. Please like and subscribe that you'll get uh, all of my update videos because this keeps barreling along. So what do we know? Love has found you. Whenever you get an activation or you start getting healthy or you get hit with some energy, love has found you. And that is no small thing because what that means is the love that hit you can start improving you. The love that hit you makes you want more. The love that hit you starts transforming and evolving you. And that's a huge part of what we're in. It's time to reverse those lovers and get them back up where they belong. Now, whatever has pulled you down, whether it's a, been a toxic relationship, a toxic childhood, toxic families, maybe you've had no time for yourself and you can like sort of feel like you're, you know, hey, I have no time for myself. Who even has time for a relationship? I'll just take friends with benefits. And mm, love has other plans for you. Love doesn't want those soulmates to use the best of you and you get the crumbs from the table. So that can, might be, you know, a little bit counterproductive in your life where you're like, I have no time for this. I have no time for that. I have no time for that. I'm busy, busy, busy. Um, or I have a crush at work. Regardless, we got to bring this back up, up where it belongs, you know, up, keep going, up, keep going. It's kind of like stair steps. And it is like climbing the mountain. You're not going to scale Mount Everest on the first day. Nobody does that. People prepare for a year and sometimes years. And they invest in it because it's something that they really want to do. Well, I recommend that you invest in yourself on this journey and work on your own light body, your improvements, etc. The next thing I want to tell you even though we're talking about this and your mind is taking this in, your mind is not in control. This love, it is like a little tulip bulb under the ground. It's going to know when it's time to go through the snow, to cut through the ice, to send up the plant, to send up the flower and bloom. You don't really have to always know the timing of it because your mind will want to control that too. Here's what I need to tell you about time. You're in a time compression. That means you'll run out of time of certain things. That also means that there is the opportunity by using your twin flame chakras to make quantum leaps to actually get into quantum time. And that's a thing. And if you don't believe it, you just look at people that, you know, suddenly they meet someone and in that split second, everything comes flooding in, right? Has that happened to you? We are in a season that is for the evolution of love, okay? And here's what happens when people activate. You are hopeful of love. In other words, you're hoping it works out. You are hoping 
beyond sometimes even logic that someone you like will change. You're hoping that beyond all logic, you can, you know, make them get rid of their addictions or something. You're hoping beyond all earthly measure that this is it, that this has found you. Well, love is finding you. And sometimes that's when hope kind of has two sides of the coin. You need to have hope because you need to have expectations for things to get better. That is the natural inclination of us as human angelics. That's our spirit. That's our spirit going, it can be better, being optimistic. Now, hope can also be like those things where in the flood of everything that comes to you, like white picket fences, and we're going to do this, and this is going to happen, and you you have it all planned out. That hope can sometimes be discouraging. And I don't want you to be discouraged on this journey. It is a journey. You have to commit to the process. You have to cooperate with your own process. Your hope can make you crazy and you're not crazy. So we have our fine actresses here straight from Hollywood to help you with this. Oh my God, I met somebody and as soon as I met this energy hit me and I just am thinking it's it. it we're going to be, I know what kind of house we're going to have. I know how I want to furnish it. I know so many things and, but I'm not getting a response. Oh, you don't even know. You are just like a dreamer. You're a dreamer and you keep hoping that this is the one and that's the one and that's the one. And look at you. You're always up and down and up and down and up and down. So is she bipolar? I, we don't know. No, it's not like that. I just, I feel like a flower that's blooming. Well, you're just not being realistic. Like, has he taken you out? Have you done anything? Has he called you? Has he, you know, done anything that really is giving and taking and giving and taking? Well, no, but it's just in the beginning. But my mind put it all together. And there you go. We're up in the head. We're not down in the heart. How you get clarity on things is by being not just in your heart and in your emotional body, because your ego is there too. It is by the envelopment of your high heart, then you're going to know. Then you're going to get more clarity. Then you're going to make those quantum leaps forward, maybe for someone that is appropriate for you. Now, in the 15 years I've been doing this, I have seen that, yes, there's different, uh, let's say, qualities of soulmates. Really, to simplify, a lot of people are soulmates. And you may have been happy with them in previous timelines and previous lives. When they say we're turning the corner, those timelines have collapsed and you are no longer going to be, you know, cozy and, you know, fluffy with those people anymore. They're going to fall away from your radar. They will simply fall off the radar because your soul is saying, hey, wait, wait a minute, but wait, I've got better for you. Sit tight. Work on yourself, transform. Now, a lot of people consider working on themselves, doing things like they want to excavate out things. And we can do that in a flash and in fact, do a reconnection with you so that you really begin feeling this. And so are you crazy? I want to tell you, you're not crazy. Don't let what you once hoped for get you down. Put it into action. Be proactive. Now, we have a class coming up. If you love someone who is addicted, if you love someone who is, maybe that's you or your family, that you run into this, okay? You're not here to be an enabler. You're not here to be a babysitter. You're not here to be a sugar mama. And I've had all those situations when people thought that that person was for them. They're giving out money for as a sugar mama to let the person go buy more drugs. And 
you know, the mindset of addiction has changed and yet it can still be toxic. Okay. We don't want to stigmatize people in a spiritual illness. We don't want to, you know, take away what originally happened for you. Did you feel love? Make it that simple. Did you feel love? Do you need tarot cards to tell you if you felt love? Make it simple because the love that belongs to you shall be returned to you. And if that person took it or if they keep trying to take it, that may not be love, but you get to retain the love that you felt because that's yours. And this is going beyond self-love. This is going to bring you to the proper partner who is the match for you. So I hope that this helps you. Soulmate or twin flame, love has found you. Can you get back to the original feeling of love? If you're really not, then it's time to join us. Join us. We do one-on-one -on -one sessions. I have books. We do readings and coachings. Seasons change and so can you. Bye now.